Kathleen Holian from Indigo, and I'm here with Annabelle Law from Canadian Living. We're here to talk about um, the Canadian Living Ultimate Cookbook that we are so excited about. So Annabelle, why is this cookbook so great, and how long did it take to put it together? It took a good year to put it together, mm. um, and we created a lot of new content for this book too, so it did take a considerable amount of time, and it's special because we had never done a reference book like this of this size before. There's 458 recipes, so. Wow. So tell me about what, what we're gonna be making today. We are making flourless molten chocolate lava cakes. So the first thing we need to do is melt our butter and chocolate together. Got it. So I always put the butter in the bowl first. Okay. Because it kind of creates a little bit of a buffer for the chocolate, so we don't, we're not likely to burn it. So because it chocolate burn. burns pretty easily. Absolutely. Otherwise. And I'm also adding vanilla. I'm using a vanilla bean. You no. can use extract if you wanted, but I okay, like great. to use a vanilla bean. And what do you think is the best part about using a bean as opposed to extract? Well, it just has a really potent flavor. And actually, if you're, I mean, in this, because it's chocolatey, you're not going to see the specks, but in something like a custard, you'd see the little specks, and it's like, right. you know it's high quality then. Right. So yeah, I just split it lengthwise, and I'm just scraping the little seeds out, okay. and just add that straight in. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty melted to me. We're gonna add our sugar in now. So eggs are the basis for kind of the foundation of this cake. This is what's gonna make it rise and it's what's gonna give it some structure. So we have six eggs and we always use room temperature eggs when we're baking. And we add them one at a time to make sure that they are all evenly distributed in the batter. And we'll start adding our yolks. So cocoa powder is our dry ingredient, mm -hmm. the only dry ingredient going in, and we sift it in because it can be tend to be a little bit lumpy. Okay. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> a little messy in here. That's okay. A little messy. It's not cooking unless there's a little bit of a mess. And then I'm also going to add a pinch of salt because chocolate and salt are best friends. Mm -hmm. So we have our ramekins. We've already buttered these. You need just under a half cup in each of these. And it's so much easier to get them in and out of the oven if they're on a rim baking sheet like this because you can just transfer them all at the same time. So we have our oven preheated to 425 and make sure your oven's preheated first. I'm putting my oven glove on because it's the best way of uh, picking these up. And then just run a knife, paring knife around the edge just to help loosen it and invert onto the plate. Big reveal. Yeah. This is where you cross your fingers. Beautiful. I think we are ready to taste. <laughs> it's so, so good. good, right? So mm. molten center. Oh my God. Yeah, that's incredible. Ridiculous. No, it's like you're really that. gonna wow your guests, and you could see how easy this was. To oh make, my God, so. it was great. We threw it together in like two minutes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the ultimate cookie, Annabelle. Oh, we're so excited. Thank you so much. <laughs>